warming temperatures this spring finally allowing field work to progress in Montana and that's putting a lot of smiles on farmers faces. MTN's Russell Nimitz tonight joins us to bring us an update on the spring planting. This is probably the first year we've had all the equipment ready before it was time to seed, really. We were waiting on weather pretty much, and we were happy to get in the field when we actually could. With warmer temperatures finally here and the snow finally gone, farmers like William Downs and family of Molt, Montana, are glad to be back in the fields after this year's planting delays. Altogether, we're about a month behind, really, on seeding. We're uh, just finishing up our last uh, probably 10 acres here and then we'll be done for the year. As for the planting progress of other Montana spring wheat growers, the latest USDA crop progress report shows just 24% complete compared to last year's 44%. Down says even though the seed is in the ground at their farm, there's a lot of work ahead until harvest. We're just getting started, so once the seed's in the ground, that's just the first step. So the second step is to feed the crop and make sure it has the nutrients it needs to create a good yield for us. And then after that, we have to protect it against disease and, uh, um, and make sure it, it's a healthy plant. But even in challenging years like this, Dan Kohler with Northern Seed says today's research and technology allows companies like theirs to help farmers find a seed variety that fits their operation versus a one-size-fits-all approach. There's different seed varieties out there that fit individual farms across Montana. Typically around here most of our acres are going to be dryland acres so there's obviously uh, you know, they're the guys going to be using more seeds. So we have to produce a heck of a lot more seed for those guys to plant their farms with. And even though wheat prices aren't where growers would like them to be, Kohler says given the year that we're having with all this moisture, now's not the time to be cutting back on input costs like treating your seed with a fungicide. No, absolutely not. I mean, it's, it's a lot to, lot to take in. I mean, it costs a lot of money to raise a crop, but the guys that skimp are the guys that are going to go lose. Even with this year's planting delays, farmers like William Downs will never turn away good moisture. We never complain about moisture. We'll take the moisture. We'll battle, we'll battle seeding for moisture any day. So after a long, cold, and snowy winter, not only is this beautiful sunshine great for crops and farmers, it's also pretty good for one's soul as well. Near Molt, Russell Nemitz, MTN News. Thank you, Russell. Russell tells us this year most of Montana's winter wheat will have to be harvested in July. As for the spring wheat, well, that'll have to wait until late August due to this year's planting delays.